How you guys doing today? I'm back. Hopefully everybody's doing well and uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, I apologize I'm a little under the weather, but I wanna uh I wanna get these two reviews out real quick uh, and talk about something that I uh discovered like a couple days ago when I was strolling into Sephora to uh to check out um some stuff out there. Um uh, but I wanna talk about two uh fragrances and I got samples right here so I don't have the actual bottles, but I've been wearing them for the last couple of days and I just want to give my thoughts and opinions and see if uh, any of you folks have been wearing these or if you've heard of them. I've seen a couple of reviews on Fragrantica, but I thought they were pretty good, to be honest. Um, as you know, so far, it's kind of stepping their game up, their niche game, their niche game. But uh, this one is called um, By the Fireplace, and uh, it almost reminds me of a fragrance, a couple of fragrances, actually. But I just want to spray this on and let you guys know uh, what the opening is like. So there's two there's two uh, small misty sprays for you guys. But I'm gonna give you my take, and I've been wearing this for the last couple of days. To me, it smells like if you've ever smelled a city on fire. It smells like a city on fire. The smoke in there without the barbecue. Well, I lied. There's a little bit of barbecue smell to it, but but what I get from it is like a Brax. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but when I was a kid, I don't even know if they still sell those, but the Brax caramels that come in a bag in a clear plastic wrapper, and you open them up, and you eat on it, and you can smell it. It smells just like a, uh, like a caramel chew. So you get caramel chew and smoke. So very sweet and smoky is what you get. I think I dig this. This is definitely different um, in reference to um, the niche house lately. Um, this this is definitely nice if you're looking for something different. And um, it lasts probably four to four to five hours on me. Four to five hours. But I, I'm really digging this. If you like smoky fragrances, this is uh, this is nice. Hold on, let's go to the next one now. The next one is uh, for those folks that uh, for those folks that like Dior Home Intense and the lipstick and iris smell. Well, guess what? If you haven't checked it out already, I got a sample from Sephora, and it's called Lipstick by Replica. Lipstick on, lipstick on, I believe. Let's go in and spray this for you guys. Right arm this time. All right. And basically what I get is a lady's makeup bag slash lipstick. That's basically what you get for the first, I would say, five to ten minutes. And as time pursues, like I said, I've been wearing this for the last couple of days. There's like a cherry note or something in there. That comes out that's almost reminiscent of pure Havan. So that lipstick note and the cherry note. And guess what my girl said the other day. Babe. You smell like a cherry chapstick. And I thought to myself. I smell myself again. I said damn. I do smell like a cherry chapstick. But as it weird as it sounds. I guarantee you this is probably going to be liked by the fragrance community because I can see it and I find a lot of people myself, if, if you like Dior Home Intense and you like that lipstick vibe, man, this is lipstick vibe, full throttle, full throttle, like 100% lipstick vibe. And I was thinking about using this as like a, uh, more so of a, like a layering agent um, when I wear like Dior Home Intense or something like that, you know what I mean? But I think this is nice. It lasts, uh, 
anywhere from four to uh, six hours as well. Four to six hours. But uh, that's all I got. So check it out if you haven't done so already. I just wanted to um, share this with you guys, um, what I experienced lately. And uh, in, in no shape or form or way, it's a for or anybody paying me to do reviews. This is just something I stumbled up stumbled upon um, when I was looking for a, a gift for my for my girl. So, but check it out, man. Lipstick on and um, what's that other one called? Something by the fireplace. Uh, yeah, by the fireplace. So by the fireplace and lipstick on. Look, it's pink too. Well, it just looks like that on the video, but. It's, a, it's like a tint of pink in there. But check it out, man. This is uh, These are some fragrances worth checking out, I think. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, buzz... I'm not one to start a buzz, definitely not. But I wouldn't be surprised to see this because these fragrances are very likable. And um, that's all I got for today, guys. But uh, until next time, stay blessed.